Je suis très touché par l'hommage que tu rends à nos combinaisons rouges avec tes cheveux rouges. Vraiment, ça m'a ému. Ouais. <rire> Laurent, thank you so much for spending some time with You're us welcome. today and for everything that you do. Of course, um, every moment that we have to spread the message about ocean conservation is important, but why is this weekend so special? Well, for me, it, it was very special because I was really touched and, and, and yeah, it was very emotional to see how, how Blampin led a huge place for the Blampin Ocean commitment. I mean, it was a, a, an event for an, an anniversary uh, of the 50 Fathom, the 70s. But we talk more about ocean conservation than dive watch. It's, it's not an excuse. I look how many hours during the weekend was dedicated to ocean conservation, uh, to, to ocean exploration. And that was more than just talking about dive watch. That was an occasion to measure that their commitment is really true and really deep. Absolutely. Uh, we had the privilege to spend some minutes with you in the water yesterday observing how you work. Uh, could you tell us a bit about uh, what you've accomplished with your recent activities, with your recent dives that have really... Yeah, well it, it will coming soon so I don't want to to tell everything because it will come next year but uh, this summer we, we finish with a project that a project that has us four years of diving, uh, not so far, just in Corsica Island. It's uh, uh, not even a, a full day to, to sail to Corsica Island, so it's close to here. And even if it's, it looks that it's a well-known place, actually it's not. And um, uh, we discovered uh, at 120 meters deep, so it's quite deep and quite offshore of the, of the island, very strange uh, things. It's rings, perfect rings, perfectly circular rings, 20 meters diameters and it's not only one, it's 1,400 of them on 10 ki square kilometers. On the floor of the on, ocean? On the floor of the, of the sea, yes. And, and no one so far know what is the origin, why here and nowhere else, uh, how old are these strange rings, why the, the biodiversity linked to these rings is so different than the biodiversity just around. Well, I'm really excited to discover the, the answer and the solution to this yeah. mystery, which I'm sure you're going to share with us, as you said, next year. Now, Laurent, a lot of us uh, look at your work and, and we find it so inspiring, so dedicated, but maybe it's out of reach for a lot of us, for many of us. What do you think people can do in general, in every day, something small that would help to support you and, and, and people like you who are doing such work? Well, to support me, I'm not sure it's the most important. I would say that if I can just push a bit people just to have the idea to why not me too? Why not? And, and it's not because it looks very difficult or dangerous or I don't know what my team and I, we, we do that it's impossible to do something easier. I mean, just take your snorkel, your fins and your mask and go into the water. As soon as you cross the surface, it's another world. And you don't need, mainly if you're a beginner, you don't need to go deep to enjoy, but even you don't need to, to go deep to have this huge feeling to live an adventure. Going underwater is an adventure even if it's just from the beach. I mean, when I started as a kid, I was not at 120 meters. I was on the beach with my parents on the, on the sand, say, oh, don't go too far. Uh, stay where you can walk. But it was an adventure. Just as simple as that. Yes. Just to, and I, I appreciate what you suggested as well, that you know, all that is needed is really just to put yourself there, put yourself in that environment, and then let the desire come to you. Yeah. 
And yeah. uh, speaking of knowledge, uh, you mentioned during the panel discussion that uh, what you do is not really directly impacting so much maybe um, ocean conservation policies yeah, or yeah. innovations in that sense, mm. but it's so important in contributing knowledge. Mm. And to me, that resonates with me a lot because I believe strongly that the more you know about something, the more you understand it, the more you can love it. Yeah, and yeah. Do you see that as your role to help of people course. love the ocean? Oh, of course, and it's not new that uh, to, 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 to conserve, to protect something, first you have to love it. It's known. Even the Commandant Cousteau, 50 years ago, was saying that to, to make the, the, the environment respected, you need first to make the environment loved. I think it's not enough. Mm -hmm. My point of view now, after 30 years of diving, 20 years as a job, Sometimes I think the most important is not to show the beauty of nature, because the beauty of nature is everywhere. It's not a, case, a question of, look has its beauty. It's a question of, feel it, feel it. And you know, beauty, sometimes we, we want to hone beauty. Yes. It's not respectful. What we, what we really respect is something unreachable is something bigger than us. Mm -hmm. So my focus today with my photos or my film is not to show how the nature can be beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's to show how we don't know nature, how the nature is bigger than us. Because I think that gives us a longer, uh, a more sustainable respect. Mm -hmm. If you have something in front of you, say, wow, that's really impressive. Wow, I don't know what is this, but it's huge. Mm -hmm. Imagine a, a population, very religious population. Mm -hmm. What do you think they are so religious? Because they look the God beautiful? No. Because they look the God big, scaring a bit, mm -hmm. bigger than us that they have. Mm -hmm. And I think the only true God we have on earth is nature. Mm -hmm. And I believe that just this, this message to say, look how, how it's beautiful, yes. look how it's useful, it's, it's nice. But we're now, just in Instagram, there is billions of people that show that nature is beautiful. But maybe we need still explorer, mm -hmm. uh, or extreme explorer, I don't know, just to show not only the beauty, but how mysterious it is. How big is the part we still don't know? I have yeah, the feeling that what you feel when you have this sensation is more durable, is more Absolutely. sustainable than just, wow, it's beautiful. Yes. So feel it and then yeah. it passes. there is something more important than beauty and the water is the mysteries. I think I understand your point. Well, I'm not a marine specialist or a conservation specialist in any way, but my specialty is more towards washers. But I think we're both here in Cannes for the same reason, to support the things that we love. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time and for You're everything welcome. that you do. You're welcome.